Klaus Udes. Wagonals, I'm Anisha, your Jamaican friend living in Sweden. But today, 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 it's not about Sweden. It's not about this poor Jamaican girl finding her way in such a cold, cold, but beautiful country. I'm going to be talking about my rhinoplasty. So, for those people that look like me, have the same features as I do, you'd call it an ethnic rhinoplasty. Plasty. Eh. And I did it about a month ago. So, this is. A update video with before and after pictures of course so this is how it looks now and if you haven't been following the videos you can see where I started and what it looked like in the beginning and if you don't want to watch it nobody not forcing you I'm going to put a picture right here I had to move to the kitchen because you guys deserve the best lighting okay. uh, let's get serious if you are impatient you can just look on the time card below and go to the sections that you want, like how much I paid for it, was the doctor good, who was the doctor, were the staff good, did I feel anything, did it hurt? You can just look at all that in the time thingies, you know, the little thingy below. So I'm going to start off by saying why I did it. For me, I was always very conscious about my nose. Let me put my phone on silent. I was always very conscious about my nose because it just, it's like it didn't have any bone or anything, any structure to it because I could like hold the top and push it down. Yeah, I, I could do that, which is very cute, but I found it cuter when I was a child. As a semi-adult, I wasn't feeling so much, but because I think for black women or black girls in general, because some people are like 18 and they want to get it done, there's a certain type of taboo that goes with any form of surgery. This is heavy to talk about. Um, it's kind of personal. We're seen as strong. We're seen as we're supposed to be able to get stuff done. Like, how dare you want to be prettier? I don't think I'm prettier, just to, just to be clear. But how dare you want to be prettier? How dare you try to fix your hair? How dare you talk about beauty? Don't you know you should be like the work mule of the world? There was that. There was kind of a thing where it's very taboo in my culture. Anything plastic surgery related, cosmetic surgery, even if it's fillers, they, they look down on it and they just call you plastic and they call you fake. You disgust me. So I was very apprehensive about getting it done. But at the end of the day, it's my decision, it's my face, and I wanted it, therefore I had it. So this is to say, not to look at pity party or anything, because there needs to be none, but this is to say that if you have a negative comments, you keep it to yourself, alright? So, what are you coming here for? How much I paid for it? It costed between 2,000 to 8,000 euro. This is the, the amount that the doctors gave me. Naturally, I wanted to go with 2,000, but I thought that it's my face and I didn't want to mess with it, and I spent 5,000. I didn't want to say how much money I spent, but yeah. But I spent 5,000 on it and I went with Dr. Bora. My experience, my, my experience. I spent five minutes with the doctor. He came in and he asked me what I wanted to do with my nose. So I spent five minutes with him and he asked me in front of like six other staff. That was very uncomfortable for me. I should have probably spoken up more about exactly what I wanted because I feel I didn't get exactly what I wanted, but it could have been worse. I wanted him to like shave the sides down and make the tip like not so, not so chubby. But I didn't want to have a Michael Jackson nose. <laughs> but I don't think that he did exactly that. Plus, I don't, I hope you can see, my nostrils, this is a bit gross, I'm sorry. My nostrils, they're kind of doing a little dance and going that direction and I'm not a big fan of that. To be clear, it is okay, but I don't think that it screams $5,000. I also wanted to add some photos of the progress. I'm sorry, I'm jumping through this section by section by section because I want to get the points out and not waste your time. You see me? So, a lot of people ask me if it hurts. I took the injection and I fell asleep. I, I got knocked the hell out. I got knocked out. 
I woke up and then there was a cast on my face. I didn't feel anything. I couldn't, I know I couldn't stand. And I have the scar under my boobs. Scar under my boobs. Uh, let me zoom in. Scar under my boobs right here. I'm hoping this gets better soon. It doesn't heal anymore. It was the most painful part of the surgery because I could hardly, you know, move for a while and I couldn't shower for three days. So I had to like dry shower. I couldn't wash my face for a week so I have acne problems coming back up. And it was very difficult to breathe, to eat and to talk. I, I've i never went so long silent in my life, but that was it. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. The doctor, when I did see him for the five minutes, he was pleasant. He was all right, like confident in what he did, which would probably come across arrogant, but he was all right. I just felt like I'd, it would be nicer if I communicated better with him, but then it would be nicer if I was also in a space to do so and not surrounded by a million people. The nurses took the cake. The nurses, the nurses, the nurses, the nurses and the assistants, they text it all the time, are you okay? Oh. Do you need anything? And I'll be like, oh, I need water. They text somebody else to tell them to bring water to me. I'm like, oh, I need the Wi-Fi. They come down and give me the Wi-Fi password. So the hospitality was very nice. I spent more than I wanted to because the surgery, the, the cost of it, the 5,000 euro, which is not chicken, chicken money, it's not picnic money for anybody. Well, probably some people, but you know, it's not, it's not picnic money for me. Um, it did not cover the hotel or transport or transit or anything like that. And it was, I think an hour and a half away from, from the airport. So it costed a lot more than I thought it would, you know, but differently from that, I, I only have the complaints about my nose of it being going this way, doing the dance, you know, and it's still swollen. So... I'm not 100% sure how the final look will be, but I know that I'll definitely give you like a three month update. Another question I'm asked a lot is if I would do it again. I probably would. And if I could change anything, I'd more than likely change how I communicate with my doctor because I, at the end of the day, I don't think it's 100% his fault. I probably should have communicated better. But then it's not fully healed yet, so it's too soon to, to say. And I am thinking of a revision rhinoplasty. Plasty. Pleh. You know the word I'm talking about, right? I'm thinking of a revision um, nose job. I have an Instagram page about, about my nose. So I'll link that below. And if you have any questions by itself, feel free to message me. I mean, my IG will also be linked below. You can subscribe if you want. It is free. I want you to tell me below if this is something that you would do if you think that it was worth 5,000 euro. It breaks my heart each time I say that number because I could have I could have done a couple of stuff with that, you know? I could go to Jamaica. I could go back to Jamaica with that. And if this is something that you're interested in doing, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Later.